Hello again. Uh, okay, so we are now on the next part of the uh, four dome. So, remember last time what we did is we added all of these detail and little channels. Um, so this time we're going to finish off some of the details. So if we kind of look at the picture, um, what we may add now is there's two circular details here. And I might add just a few little panel details as well, just to kind of uh, show you some more of that. So, these two circular details, um, again, these are a little bit deeper. These look to be probably um, two to two and a half mil, because they're quite pronounced on the model. Um, so, what we're going to do is going to start to put them on. And you can see, you've kind of got one on the... Uh, lower ring and then one's actually on the body so what we will do is again we'll start off by drawing a line as reference um, and I'm going to select this flat plane here I pressed L to go into line because we're using um, shortcuts now um, and so looking at that edge there it's probably a little bit just below so the, the 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 lower ring is actually thinner than the upper ring which is relatively unusual on these things but we'll take a stab about there and as i said you can if you've got i'm going to make that two let's go 2.4 mil just to make it a little bit more pronounced and i said if you've got blueprints then by all means Go to the measurements. Um, I'm doing it freestyle off the photograph, just to kind of show you. So, so that's where I'm going to make the first one, which will be about there. The second one, then, kind of look at that. Your second one is just above the edge um, of the dome. So your second one is probably, I would guess, around about there. So, and again, 2.4 mil and then bring it back so the same as what we did last time i'm creating these kind of u-shaped lines so that it saves me having to do lots of different cuts um i'm just going to hide the canvas for the time being okay so whoops a daisy uh front right so modify split body i'm going to do the ring first and i'm going to select that line there press ok of course, when you use a sketch, it disappears. So I'm going to go back, switch the sketch back on, modify, split body, and we'll just, just select the upper dome, and we're going to select that head again. There we go. Okay. So now what we've done is you created two rings. Um, just turn those sketches off there. And what you want to do now is you want to start to pull those back in. You remember, press full at. Um, 1.54 mil okay now part the problem with pressing and pulling on circular pieces is when you first do it it will give you the diameter which means it's quite difficult um, to measure it for that 1.54 but it does remember the last pull that you do so a little bit of a workaround I tend to do and I you know, this is for me. It's a quick and easy. Is I take create an object to just create a box. There we go. And then on a flat surface, I just press pull, and I manually type in minus one point five four. Okay. So now I pulled it. Pulled once. It remembers that. And that's all. I've, all I want to do is just get it to remember it. And then, then when they went straight into circles, I can just press pull, and you can see it's took it straight back. And that should be virtually level, as you can see, with that cut, which means it's the right depth. So, and then all we do, press pull, enter. Um, and what we want to do really is start to work our way around this. Now you can see, because that face, because it started to grow level with the other faces, it's actually taken on, press pull, enter. You can see it started to grab some of the color um, from the edge but not to worry press pull there we go so this this is actually going to create a ring right the way around so one 
to press pull. I'm just selecting, pressing shift and selecting multiple areas just to speed it up a little bit. One, two. There you go. Um, one, two. Press pull. And press pull. Okay. So now, as you can see, uh, we've actually got that ring that goes all the way around the outside of there. It's coloured in green. You can colour it in white. It doesn't really matter. What you've got to do then is start to do the next one. So press pull. Enter. Press pull. Enter. Remember, because just because the spaces of the faces have been cut, you are um, starting to have to just go around to each of the individual cut faces. Um, notice where you've kind of got a face that is all linked together but it, it, you know there's sort of angles and things and when you pull one element it pulls all of them in um, so we'll just keep going around there and this will add that that final detail with with the rings that are in there so and as I said what 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 I've done is I've really shared this dome at each stage so at any point you want to jump in and say I'm actually not going to I'm going to customize my own I'm going to put my own kind of panel details on then you know it is there for you to do something unique um, with your design skills um, so we're kind of getting there now there we go um, and I think yeah I think we're all sort of done there so now as you can see we've now got our um, our front design let's see canvas back in yeah we've now got our front design so if we start to rotate up a little bit you can start to see those rings are in and if we just hide the body you can see roughly uh, let's tilt it a little bit more so body there you go. Yeah, you can see the roughly in the right in the, in the right place. So looks good. We're looking quite good at the moment now for the um, for the eye for the for the dome. So the next thing I'm going to do now, um, and I think did we see it on some of the pictures? Ah, oh, four dome, some of the images. Um, is we, there was, there's a little bit. There's some little panel details. I mean, obviously these are other people's domes that they've created but even on the the actual movie one if we just hide the body you can see just slightly that there's a panel detail here um so these are i mean these are up to you really to to freestyle but uh, we'll, we're going to add some panel details in anyway um so the first thing i'll probably try and do i'll try and recreate that one in that white um in that white panel which is there and i'll show you how we can do that okay so the the first thing is that we're going to sketch and i'm just going to hide the canvas we're going to sketch in this area here to create this panel now if i try to just draw a line on a curved surface it won't let me uh, fusion only allows you to drive draw onto flat surfaces or onto uh, constructions so what we have to do is we have to create a construction on this line there's various constructions. Um, a tangent plane would be nice, but it's not. It's not a um, cylinder, so we can't make a ta tangent plane. So what we've really got to do is we've got to kind of make one of these planes either through two edges, three points, um, and or a face at a point. Don't know what that does. nothing now nah. I'm just trying to see if I can make things a little bit easier but no okay so we're going to make a a um, face at a point so what we do is we click construct a plane across three points now I need three points the three points that are obvious to me is I'm going to grab that one I'm going to grab that one and I'm going to grab that one. They're the four corners now. And what I know, what I'm going to create is I'm just going to create a face that I can draw on, and that's okay. Um, that is perfectly aligned with that with that area there. Okay. So 
what I'm going to do is rather than actually draw anything, I'm just going to go sketch, project, project, and on this face, there we go, I'm going to click on the face, so now, now I'm drawing in this face, and under sketch there's something called project, and project lets you select uh, a face, a space, really, anything that's, that's visible in the, um, on the model, and when you click on it, what it actually does, and I don't know if you can see that, is it actually creates a sketch. So, okay, that. It creates a sketch now that's on that face. So let's just hide the bodies. There we go. So that, that is a flat sketch of that face that we've done. And then if we highlight that sketch, the other thing I can start to do then is I can do an offset. So if you watch this, what I'm doing here is I'm just pulling this in like this now. Because what I want to do, what I'm actually going to do is if I bring the body back into C, I'm going to create a panel that's in the centre of there. So let's just slightly offset. So let's have a look. Should we? We'll do a panel, kind of something like that. Quite nice. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I don't want the full panel to be a panel. So I'm actually going to now draw a second line. So I'm going to just hide the body, press L to draw a line. Um, and I'm just going to draw a line across there. And I'll show you why I'm doing that. So I'm going to draw a centre line right up the middle. Like that. And then what I'm going to draw is I'm going to draw a line, probably, let's choose a distance somewhere like this. This is where, you know, you can really start to decide, um, give your droid a little bit of detail. So as you can see, the detail panel I'm going to probably do is that panel there. Yep. So perfect now so what I'm going to do next is I will just just try something see what happens I'm going to try just do an offset which I'm not sure if I can do uh, no I didn't think I could okay so now I've decided on the panel I'm going to go into the line tool and I'm just going to draw there oops no, sorry. what I'm going to do now is, is I've, I've got that shape I'm just going to almost trace it out now with lines so i'm going to go from that corner to there oops not doing well today we'll keep missing points right let's try again so i'm going to go from that point to that corner i'm going to go from actually let's just get rid of that line delete and i'm going to get rid of that line delete um okay so right i'm going to go I will try this again from that point to there. Lock. Excellent. Right, what I'm going to do is just delete some of the lines around it so you can see what I'm doing so it's a bit neater. So I've just drawn that. Next, I'm going to draw from that to there. I'm actually going to make the panel that big to there. And I'm going to draw that one to there. So now what I've done, and I've overshot on that, which let me just delete that again. I am not having a good day today. So I'll drop that one to there. And then, actually, it's just sometimes a lock doesn't always lock in. Right, and then from that one, we'll draw to there. Okay. So, once I've done that, I'll hit escape. And I'm just going to tidy up by deleting some of the squares around it. So I can see the actual uh, panel that I want to create. Now, it might be cool to do... Let's just tidy that up. So all this really is, is if you bring the body back in now, is we've created an offset um, of that panel. Where is it there? So on this one's on this side, isn't it? Yeah, so we've created an offset on that panel. Um, I'm just wondering whether it'd be cool to have that little bit of an angle in or not. Well, for, for this exercise, let's just draw a line across the top there as well, so that's straight. 
let's delete that line and delete that line so we will actually have a panel that has that shaped okay um, what I'm also going to do then is I'm going to do another offset and again this lets you do this uh, right is I'm going to offset that by minus 1.54 tap okay and then I'm going to bring back the body and the reason I've designed that now is I'm now going to modify split body I'm going to do very similar to what we did last time but this time I'm going to use these sketches as the cutting tool so the first sketch will cut that out um, now what you could do is you could actually pull that in there you go and you could just have a recessed panel if you wanted to or you could cut it out and have some detail in there um, but what we're going to do is we're going to split that that middle piece again um, and again it's hidden in the sketch so I'm just going to select the inner line and then OK that and so what I've done now is I've created a little bit of detail okay so I'm going to highlight that face and I'm just going to press and pull it back 1.54 mil there we go and then finally modify combine the out bit with that bit with that bit and put that as a join and then it all becomes one dome again yep now also watch out for these because when you chop things out it does cut right the way through so sometimes you just gotta see check your browser to see how many pieces you got because you have to modify combine that and that okay so I have still got you look at this now so I've got the dome aha so I'm just checking my browser now to make sure everything is the part that I want it to be and obviously it isn't so my dome's in three parts so I'm just going to combine them again so I'm going to find the top dome that middle dome and that bottom dome so this is from when we did the rings uh, around the outside so now I've got a single dome and I need to repeat the same thing with the rings because if you look at the rings what we've actually got is three parts so let's do modify combine that ring that ring and that ring and click OK so and then bring the dome back so now as you can see what we've actually got is we've started to get some more detail on the R4 dome um, we've added two rings we've added that extra panel on there um, so we'll just go to the front again and have a quick look at the sketch so the next thing I'm going to do I don't know if you can see it on there is I'm going to create this little camera housing that sits in here um, now for this this has got a um, hollow projector actually in the dome and then there's kind of a um, housing that sits around that so I'm going to cheat a little bit um, I'm going to have one that we prepared earlier as you know I've shared most of my uh, designs so you can do this too so you, I'm going to just grab a um, hollow projector from one of the previously um, created domes um, so here's here's my uh, uh, here's one of the other domes there's quite loads of parts being hidden on this but let's just grab a hollow projector eye and just that first part of the body now this is great if you've got two designs what you can do is you can cut and paste from one design to the other this only really works properly if your capture history is switched off so I'm going to right click on that copy I'm going to go back to my R4 dome, I'm going to right click anywhere, I'm just going to paste. Okay, And what that will do is it will paste the object into the space. Obviously it's not in the right place, but it um, it's at least in the space. So I want that to be, and I'm just going to move it a little bit up there, I want it to be about there. I'm going to actually probably align this by eye at the moment. Just, uh, and then move it along to there uh, I'm going to rotate it so as you can see I'm just kind of 
getting it into roughly the set roughly the right space as to where I want it to get it to by dragging all of these little movement things around um, check the front again see if it's where I want it to be move it up a little bit that's it right so and these I mean you obviously have a have a play around with these kind of controls and how you can spin stuff and move stuff around but it's just means you can kind of get your um, hopefully get you learn how to move some of these parts in space um, and you can pr reuse loads of extra um, parts from other models and um, some of the designs I've shared to create some of your own stuff so uh, that looks about right doesn't it there we go yep um, and we'll just see what it looks like from the top so I'm literally just moving it around so that I can get it just where I want it to do it get it just about right on the angles yep again doesn't look too bad actually that, that looks kind of uh, where it should be so I'll move that to the front again. Um, now sometimes you lose where these control points are and you've got a very useful command called set pivot which lets you drag this around onto different faces or different places so you can reset the angle by which you're moving things. So I'm going to set it to the angle of this face here. Uh, tick that because it just then means that when I move it up and down I'm actually sliding it up or down that face. Um, so as I look at it on the front, I actually want that to be about there, I think, something like that, okay. Now finally, what I actually want to do is I want to countersink that a little bit, so I'm going to pull it right back, I've got a line on these um, eyes anyway, which shows me where it should approximately come back, but I'm just going to pull it back a little bit more, so there we go. Um, and at the, this stage, I'm not I'm not necessarily going to design any fittings or make any holes on it. I literally just want to get it in the right position. So I'm going to click OK, um, and that now is kind of where it should be. It's facing the wrong way, so what I might do actually is just move that. Um, let me set the pivot to something that's kind of a bit like that. Um, yeah. There we go. So for that middle-ish, like that. Tickets. Uh, okay, straight that. Um. So yeah, we might not want to rotate that just at the moment because it's uh, it's finding the centre of where it could rotate it's probably going to take us away from what we're actually supposed to be doing anyhow we now have the um, hollow projector eye where we want it to be so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to design this little cowl that you can see this little cover that sits around it okay so yet again this is quite simple really um, what what I'm going to do first of all is I want to draw this that square so to do that, I want to get look at the gap between there and there, which isn't very much. Um, and I'm going to draw that onto here. So I'm going to, first of all, draw a line. So sketch line. And I'm going to select this face. So I'm looking straight at it like that. Okay. Now, what I could do, uh, let me just have a look at this, where this green comes up here, I can see just how that would actually fit, just to see if it would fit the cowl on, which it probably would, but probably want it a little bit wider than that. So I'm going to go probably about there. There we go. And I'm just going to draw, draw that straight up at 90 degrees. So that just gives me a bit of a marker, really. And then if you remember, what I'm going to do is find the center point of this. And I just want to draw a little bit of a one line down there. And this this tends to be how I, do, how, well, how I draw things. is really just a bit freehand. 
because now I can click on sketch, mirror, take that line, select the mirror line and click that line there. Okay, so now I know that I've got those two are, are kind of mirrored where they should be. Again, let me just have a look at the front and see, yep, that looks about right. And that actually, look, that cowl looks like it comes down to that main line there. So I'm going to take that down right the way down. Actually, what I'll, what I will do is if I click on look at, which is this bit here, and look at that face, it lets me look at it straight. And then I'm going to press L to draw the line and I'll continue that down to have a look to see where it is there. Okay. So I'm not actually going to go straight down there. I'm just going to go a little shy, which is there. And then I'm going to go across. Now, as you can see, I, I'm not starting to lock. But again, with, with Fusion, you can train it on this. You can just touch that line, and then you'll see there's a dotted line. And eventually, it'll snap at 90 degrees. And then continue that up to there. So now, and what I'll do is I'll just seal that top bit off as well. Um, and hit stop sketch. So now what I've got, you can see, is I've got a um, selectable sketch that's in the right place um, for this thing. The final thing I need to do is, as I said to you, it, this, it's not it's not quite at the top, so there's a little bit of a gap. So what I'm going to do finally is just draw another line on there. So sketch line, select that. And I'm just going to create that gap at the top. Where uh, should we put it about there? Like that. Okay. And stop sketch. Right. So that's where how my cowling is going to be. What I'm going to do, I hide the bodies. And I'm literally going to press and pull. And just create an object on there. Now. As I was pulling that, there was an error which you can see at the bottom right there. It says the object you created is not visible. So I need to turn these on to make it visible. When I do that, it starts to cut everything that's in there. So I'm just going to create this like this as new body. And then I can decide just how far out I actually want that. So again, what I tend to do, and I'm doing a lot of this by f just by eye based on the picture. Um, if you've got reference or blueprints and by all means I'm just trying to take a guess at how far out I think that, uh, that this, this panel actually goes um, and so, so at its deepest it's probably about there so that to me looks about right so I'm just going to create that as a new body and click OK so there's my body now obviously that's not the cowling that I want and it, interestingly, if you kind of look at the reference picture, that's at quite an angle coming down. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a line on here. And what I want to do now is cut that cowl in to go somewhere like that. Okay. Now what I will do actually while I'm here is I just want to check. Yeah. What I'm looking for there is if I cut that, that it's there's still enough gap to make that that um, that to actually have that support that hollow projector, which it seems to be. I think that angle's a little bit shallow, so I'm going to take a little bit deeper actually, and I'm just going to delete the other line. And then what you're going to do is modify split body. I'm going to highlight that, and I'm literally going to select that line. There, there we go. Um, and then I'm just going to delete that piece on there and then we'll have a look at that see how that looks now so that's that to me looks good i'm happy with that the uh, hollow projector in the uh, photograph is um, presenting down so that's not a problem but we can we can soon sort that out and then what i'm going to do next is i'm going to draw another line on this face just going to chop this a little bit more and this, I, when you're doing anything R2, if you'll do the R2 feet, uh, the feet, or you want to create anything, I tend to start off with a solid block and just start chopping bits off and to get what I want. So I'm going to split body, hit that, oops, hit that, hit that line, and take this piece off. There we go. 
So now we're starting to get where we want to. Um, and the final thing we're going to do now is hollow this out. If you remember, if you highlight a face, click modify and shell, I can now start to hollow this out. Try 3 mil, see what that looks like. It's a nice little 3 mil shell. Happy with that. So I'll click OK. Um, this is still its own. So if I get rid of the ring, I get rid of the dome, I get rid of the hollow projectors. This is still its own object. Finally, what I want to do is get rid of this face here. Um, so what I'm going to do here, if I'm going to right click, press pull, and I'm going to pull it back. So, and Fusion does a strange thing with that, which you saw, which is when you pull, it'll get thinner and thinner, and then when you go past, it looks like it's going to fill it in. But if you click OK, it just does that. So, so it fits it correctly. And then finally, if I bring all of the other parts back, you'll see the final sort of effect. So now, now what we've got is we've kind of got that little hollow, um, which, if we just angle that up a bit, let's have a quick look, you can see, there you go, you've, you've sort of got the same effect that, um, that the R4 dome's got on. Now, is this the right design? I'm not sure. Actually, just looking at the um, picture here, that hollow projector looks like it might be on a bit more of a flat face rather than directly on the angle of the body. So there might be some detail that we can sort of add in here, um, which uh, we could add a little bit later on. But we'll, you, we'll hold it like that for the, for the time being, just to kind of show you how we're starting to build things up. Um, finally, what I'm going to do is modify, combine. I'm just going to combine the body with this new body. Uh, click OK. So this is so the dome is all one dome unit. Um, and just for my kind of personal preference, really, I'm going to also um, make sure that we've got the same um, appearance. I'm just going to apply some of the dark green. Remember, we had to select this on faces or else it covers the whole body. Um, I've got the dome selected at the moment. I've got the dome stop, stop selected the dome. Thank you. Uh, all right. As appearance, appearance. There we go. Select the faces and then just drag that onto there. Drag that onto there. Drag it onto there. Drag it onto there. Drag it onto there, drag it onto there, and finally I'll just do it on the outside of that face. There we go. Close it, there we go. So, that now starts to give us um, the next bit of detail in the dome. So if go, again, if I drop into render so we can have a quick look at how that's starting to look now. Um, and I hit in canvas render. I think I showed this last time. This kind of just gives you a bit more of a um, photorealistic picture of what the dome will start to look like. Okay, so um, that pretty much covers the um, where we are from today. Uh, what we've added this time, we've added that little bit of a panel, which you can see on this side here. Uh, we've added these two cut lines, and we've started to build that cowling that sits on, on there. Um, what I'll do next time is I'm going to bring in, um, actually, rather do it next time, we can do it very quickly now, can't we? So let me go into model, only because we've got the other um, file open, so it'll be a little bit easier. What I'm going to do, actually, uh, before we finish, is I'm just going to go back onto this model. I'm sure we should have um, in the greebles. Uh, where are we, where are we, where are we, where are we? Oh, we might not do actually a dome. I was going to pull the radar eye across just to sort of see if we can... Ah, oh, there is Greebles, there we go, yeah. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that radar eye, copy, 
move on to the R4 dome and paste um, and then whoops a daisy yeah what I'll do is I'll just for completion it'll save us some time next next time I'm just gonna put this radar eye where it should be so again if we look at the um, if we look at the R4 dome it kind of sits about there I think so a quick look yep yeah, so even though it's at an angle you can't quite see it's actually just above that upper upper ring so let's put that in about there yep yeah. and then from the right let's pull that right the way in to start to get it there there we go um, pull that in obviously that needs tilting out a little bit like that bring it up again pull it in go um, just have a look from the top now see so make sure that fits I think it's probably needs spinning out a little bit there we go so I'm just gonna get this positioned in right so we're not losing too much of the uh, detail on it there we go Right, let's try that from the front. Uh, move that across a little bit, move it down a little bit. Yeah, that won't look too bad now. So from the right, nice straight angles. From the left, nice straight angles. From the bottom, yeah everything looks straight so i'm just gonna okay that press return um and what i will do actually is i'm going to then jump into appearance and actually going to apply this just white to the whole body on that one um close there we go so now and even though this particular radar eye has been cut for R2's dome um, it's a very easy way really of starting to cut this for for the R4 dome which I'll show you next time so we'll go to front I'll just drop into render because it look it look cooler if we can render it with the eye um, get rid of the canvas and then let's grab it there a little bit and then just hit in canvas render um, yep yeah, so as I said that's the where I wanted to get to today with the um, next bit of the R4 dome um, what we've got on there then is we've kind of got the first bit of the housing we've got the um, hollow projector we've got the radar eye we've got the two lines and we've got the detail for the green um, as I said it's entirely up to you really on how you want to pattern these for yourselves but obviously you can just use and download this model um, what we'll do next time is I'm going to tidy up this radar dome um, so what I'm going to do is I'll make sure that that's uh, actually almost embedded into the dome and then what we do is we do a combine the dome with the radar eye on subtract so it actually cuts it um, and what you'll find is then it'll have a perfectly fitting eye and I might put some holes in there so you can screw it so it always fits in the right place. We'll do a little bit of work on here as well and tidy this up. So we'll get these two fitted in um, for next time. And then we're actually not far off. There might be some extra details that we might want to add. But hopefully that was useful. Um, as I said, I will continue to, uh, uh, to do the R4 dome. And then finally, once we're happy with the model, we can start to cut it up 3D printing, which I'll show you how to do that. So, uh, thanks again. Uh, any requests or anything that you want to start to look at with Infusion, by all means, drop it on the uh, Patreon site or drop me a message. Um, until next time, take care and um, see you all soon. Thank you.